Hello and welcome to The Parent Zone. Uh, today we're going to be doing just a quick little video on showing you how to download games um, via EA Access, via Xbox Live Gold, Games for Gold, and via the Xbox Live Game Pass. Or just the Xbox Game Pass. Um, once you've paid for them, you press the X button on the controller, click down to My Games and Apps, and you open that up. Okay, you've then got Games, Apps, and Memberships. We're going to go down to Memberships. Then this will show what you've paid for. So Xbox Game Pass is all of the games that they've got. I think it's six ninety nine a month at the minute. Gold, Xbox Live Gold, that's games for gold, um, two to three games a month on Xbox One or Xbox 360. Um, if you want the game, literally download it, it's yours to keep. Uh, coming this month, which is February 2018, we have Crazy Taxi for the Xbox 360. Compatible through Xbox One as well though. Uh, really good game, definitely worth a download. I think that's coming out on the 16th of February. Uh, you've also then got EA Access, which is six ninety nine a month or twenty pound for the year, I believe. It's definitely twenty pound for the year. I can't remember what the monthly access is, uh, but EA Access definitely worthwhile. Okay, so we'll start off with the Xbox Game Pass. It opens up and it opens up into the store eventually. We will get there. Okay, so it shows the expiry date, and mine goes out of date tomorrow. So I'm going to lose a few games tomorrow. It is what it is. Uh, but this shows you various games that you can get. You've got the featured ones, which are the big titles that they're going after. So Halo 5, although it's getting on a bit now, uh, is one of their main ones. Mad Max, Gears of War. But you can show more of the featured titles by clicking show all. Now this is not all of the games, this is just their featured ones. Streets of Rage from uh, Mega Drive days, really good game, definitely worth download. Okay, so we'll come back out with that. Recently added is what it sounds. You click show all on that, it'll show you the ones that it has recently added to it. Uh, continue playing, that's just one that I'd already downloaded. All games A to Z, show all. And that will show you every single game that you can download with the Xbox Game Pass. So if you want any game that's on this list at all. Oh, we'll have that. You press A. It'll open it up. And you can say install, which is installing it with the Game Pass. Or buy to own, so you get it at reduced uh, reduced price. So instead of it being thirty pound, it would be twenty three ninety nine. Or you can install it, and as long as you've got the Xbox Game Pass, then you've got the free game. I mean, to be fair, six ninety nine a month for the amount of games that are on there is not bad at all. But it's only if the games appeal to you. If the games don't appeal to you, then it's not worth the money. But there is a fair few on there. Obviously, if it is for the children, then you want to make sure that they're not downloading anything inappropriate. On there, we had State of Decay, I believe that's an 18. Uh, Sunset Overdrive is an 18. Saints Row is definitely an 18. Grand Theft Auto esque. Resident Evil are all going to be over 18s. Rhyme, that's a really good one. And I'm gutted that I didn't get to play that. Okay, so that is the Xbox Game Pass. We've then got Xbox Live Games for Gold. And as we've just changed over into the next month, there's only the two on there now because the third one has stopped. So we've got Zombie, which is installed, and Shadow Warrior, which... Hmm. I'm just considering downloading this myself. 
Looks like a hack and slash. Yeah, we'll give it a go. So all I've done then is clicked install and it'll add it to my list. I think I've got games updating in the background so it's not going to install straight away. Okay, you've then got EA Access. EA Access is an absolutely brilliant app once you've paid for it. Um, I honestly can't recommend it enough. I'm not paid by them at all, not in the slightest. But as a parent and as just a gamer in general, I cannot speak highly enough of this facility. So FIFA 18 is the current uh, FIFA generation that's out. It was released September of last year, 2017. Um, I got 10-hour free trial of it, and if I wanted to buy it, it was at a reduced cost compared with going out to the stores and buy it. However, in approximately a month and a half, two months, I will get the full game for free. When I say for free, obviously I'm paying my £20 a year. But we go into Vault Games and it shows you all of the games and these are free to download, there's no issues with them. They're just complete games that you can play right now until your heart's content. So we've got on there Titanfall 2, which is quite a recent title. Battlefield 1 is now a Vault game. Mass Effect Andromeda is a Vault game. Battlefield Bad Company is an old Xbox 360 game. Um, and obviously Black is an original Xbox game. Dead Space 3, UFC, FIFA 17. So the FIFA comes out in the September and in the March, April time it um, goes into the vault. So you've then got it, that iteration of it, until whenever you decide to get rid of it. So I've got FIFA 17 installed at the minute. And we'll come back to the other games in a second. But there's FIFA 16. So you can also have FIFA 16. FIFA 15's on there, and I think FIFA 14's on there as well. Um, we've got Star Wars Battlefront, that's not the current one, but you get the game trial, you get 10 hours free to play it. Use it as you wish, whether you go online, whether you do the campaign, it's there for you to try. And then, I wouldn't like to estimate when it's going to go into the vault. It's probably going to be about a year, because these seem to be releasing every two years, so about halfway through its cycle is when it goes over into the vault. Need for Speed, there's a couple of them in there. Really good games. This one in particular I think is the best Need for Speed since Need for Speed Underground and Underground 2 on the original Xbox. They were amazing. You've got Battlefield Hardline, you've got NHL, Rory uh, McElroy PJ Tour, NFL, Titanfall, Plants vs Zombies, Dragon Age Inquisition, Mirror's Edge, Catalyst, and the original Mirror's Edge as well. Unravel, Medal of Honor Airborne, Battlefield 3. There's FIFA 15 that I was talking about. Um, SSX, I think they've got SSX Tricky as well. But for the £20 for the year, and you've got access to all these titles, it really is worth it. And then we'll go up and just look at the game trials now. So there's currently a trial on for UFC 3 so you get 10 hours of that Star Wars Battlefront 2 as I said before 10 hours The Sims 4 FIFA 18 the most recent iteration of Need for Speed Payback NHL 18 NBA Live 18 and Madden NFL 18 um, like I say in the next month maybe two months the sports games the FIFA the NHL NFL and probably the NBA will drop over into the vault and then come September 19 will be out you get 10 hour trial on that really really worthwhile as long as you can they don't mind not playing the most recent one all of the time for me I just enjoy playing FIFA I play with my mates so I do the t first 10 hours and then I drop back on onto the previous one so at the minute I'm still playing FIFA 17 to be honest, I'm still playing FIFA 16, so I think it's a better game as well, but that's just a personal choice. Um, we've done that now with the memberships. What we'll do quickly is we'll just go to the store and just show you how to find free games to download. 
So we're going to go down to browse games. Okay, so they've got new games, games coming soon, Xbox One X, top paid, top free. Show all. Fortnite Battle Royale is a really big one at the minute. In my opinion, it's nothing compared with PUBG, but we won't go there. Roblox is another big game. Hitman is not actually a full game. I believe it's only a trial of about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, but it, it's a good insight into it. To so see if the kids like Minecraft, there's um, episode one of the Minecraft story mode on there. For the sake of a free trial on it, you can see whether they're going to enjoy it or not. Even if they just play the story mode over and over again to get used to it. But there's quite a few games on there for free. If you want to download them, it's just the same way that we did before. So I'll just pick Hitman. Oh, apparently I'm already downloading it. Um, Paladins. So you just click get. And it's as easy as that. It will start downloading. But it's pending for me, obviously, because, as I say, I've got some games downloaded in the background. But that's that. If you've got any other questions... Drop a comment in the uh, box below and I'll get back to you. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Bye.